Welcome to my channel, Woodland Stamper. I'm so glad you came back and to view another video of mine. Today we're going to be making this card right here. And it's um, made with the Poppy Sweet. And I'm going to show you those sweets. They're right here. Now they do bundle them. Just to tell you a little bit about me, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I've been with the company 16 years and if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like to order any of these items you're welcome to use my hostess code right here and if we get enough orders we have to total a $300 order as a group and I will be ordering two to help you all out but if we get enough orders there is a free stamp set that we will get and it's going to go to one of you that are putting in an order. It's the Ladybug stamp set. Because I'm a demonstrator, I was able to attend on stage in Toronto in November and they give us a product purchase premiere which we can order items in the upcoming mini catalog that is live now but we were able to order them ahead of anybody else and we were even able to order purchase this so it was wonderful and I did purchase my own stamp set because I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to make a $300 order and get it for free so I do have mine and I showed a card made with this on Saturday and you can watch that in a previous video so to go back to the sweets we're going to use today this is um, the Peaceful Moments, and it's bundled with the Poppy Moments dies. So the Peaceful Moments include all these words. We are going to be using the Happy Birthday one, and I'll leave the card right there. So we're using the Happy Birthday words, and then it includes all these dies, and they're wonderful. And this is the die we cut, we're cutting out our leaves with. For this leaf that goes right there so I already did that ahead of time because I didn't want to waste too much time the other bundle is the painted poppies and it bundles with the painted labels dies so you get all these stamps and we're using this one and this one and uh, the little one right here the splatter and then the painted labels dies includes all these dies. Now I'm going to show you what I did. On the card, I stamped happy birthday on a scrap piece of paper. And then I cut it, I cut it out with a die. And I was looking for like a label that it might fit. And actually, this label right here, it would probably fit fine with. And then we would just trim it off on the edge. But as I was looking at the dies, I said, well, what about this one? Now, this is for the flower. This actually die cuts this flower right here. But I thought, wonder if we cut the words out with it. And I did. And it came out, I think I have it upside down. Yeah. It came out wonderful. I really like, and here's the card again so you could see it. So I really like the way the die cut the words out. Okay, so let me see. Let me put my die back. If I don't, I will lose it. <laughs> I'll be sad. Okay, let me put these aside over here. So just to give you a quick peek, get my stuff out of the way. In the mini catalog, it's this catalog right here, and you can find that at stampinup.com under the catalogs. On the fifth page, you will see the Peaceful Moments bundle. And on the fourth page, you will see the Painted Poppies bundle. So if you were to order either of those bundles, you would get a free product from the Celebration brochure. And there's all kinds of products in here to choose from. Some are for a $100 order, but most of them are for a $50 order. So they're beautiful just love them so they're all in there and that catalog is also on stampinup.com under catalogs 
Okay, I think I told you everything now. We're going to get down to making this card. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock, pool party. It's eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. And this is the designer series paper we're using. Uh, let me get the exact name for it. It's in the poppy suite, and it's called Peaceful Poppies Designer Series Paper. So over the weekend when I made the ladybug card, we actually used this side of it. And I'll show you that card in case uh, some of you didn't watch the video. But this was the card we made with that side. Okay, so today we're going to flip it over and use that side. So again, this piece measures, let me get my notes here. It measures three and five eighths by two and a half. And I've already put my um, tear and tape, Stampin' Up's tear and tape, I love it. So I put that on already and I'm going to just lift that backing up, get it started so I can adhere it down to my pool party without too much trouble. Actually, I want to start it from this end. Get that one started. Okay, now you do want to make sure this is going the right way. This would kind of be upside down. So we're going to put it on that way. And just excuse me while I turn it around to face myself. You know, I try to orient the camera so you could be watching this like over my shoulder. But it doesn't work for me because it gives me so little room to work in because the camera is right there. So I ended up putting it back across from me. So I hope we can make this work because this really is the best setup for me to demonstrate the items. And I'll continually turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. So we put that on. Now our next pieces, you want your white piece and your pool party. And we're going to layer those together, okay? But not right away. So let me give you the measurements. The white one is three and a half by two and three eighths. So three and a half by two and three eighths. The pool party one is. Uh, Oh, let me see. I don't think. Let me measure it for you, okay? Because I don't think I have that written down. Two and a half by three and one, two, three, four, five eighths. So three and five eighths by two and a half. And you know what? I think I gave you the wrong measurements for the designer series paper here because I didn't have that written down. So the designer series paper is actually, if I told you wrong, it's four inches wide by five and a quarter, okay? Four by five and a quarter. And then the pool party is three and five eighths by two and a half. And this one is three and a half by two and three eighths, okay? So I apologize about that. <laughs> I'm always, um, it never goes quite as smooth as I would like. <laughs> But let's get stamping now. Um, first of all, I got, I'm trying to think how we did this. Okay, first we're going to stamp the flower. And we're going to use Poppy Parade. And I'm so glad I had my little stamping spot because when I grabbed my full size pad out, it was kind of dry from using it from previous stamping. And guess what? I didn't have a reanchor. So that will be going on my next order, all that stuff. So right now we're going to ink up and we're going to stamp this. And we're going to stamp it about here. Okay, I'm going to show you that. So let me turn it around and do that for you. Actually, you know what? I stamped this in the black now that I see it and looking. So let me clean that off. I don't know, I'm not really with it today. <laughs> the weather is changing. It was 50 degrees yesterday, and it's going to be down to the teens tomorrow. So today is a transition day, and 
I had a little bit of a headache last night, and I had a headache this morning. I seem to get them when um, the weather starts to do crazy things and change on us. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that up here. A nice impression. So I'll turn that around and show you. And then I will clean this off. And then I'm going to show you a little trick. A little tricksy. Um, let me get my stamp set. I have a mask in here. Yeah. Okay. So what I did here, I stamped that same flower on a post-it note. And I made sure the sticky part of the post-it note was going to be underneath the flower I was cutting out. And then I cut it out with my shear, my papers, my um, scissors, and I cut right on that, uh, that line, okay, that bordering line. Usually if you're cutting stuff out to pop up, you would leave a little border of white all around. But when you're making a mask, you don't want to do that. You want to cut it right on the line and make it just a little smaller. And I'll show you how we're going to lay that down. Right there. So it's not right on the line. Because when we stamp the stems, it's actually, it leaves a little border all around that doesn't get stamped. And if you leave a little less... Uh, if you go in a little bit and don't have it quite covered up all the way to the end of the stamped image, then you you um, don't get that border and it works out a lot better. So I have my stamp on here because all we want are the stems and the little bud. We don't want that flower. So that's how I wanted to do this one. So I'm going to stamp it up. I think I have a good impression there. I don't want to miss anything. So let me turn it around and stamp it. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Now let's see if it worked, okay? We're going to peel off our mask, and there it is. Voila! Isn't that great? And this little bud is a little bit behind uh, the flower, which is okay. And they all come a little different. Like this one, the one I did yesterday, it showed all of the stem of the bud. Okay, so now, what's our next step here? Now we're going to color it in, okay? So let me cover this up. Don't get in color of that. And we're going to do the poppy, the flower. We're going to color that in. So what I want, and I didn't get that ahead of time, so let me go grab it. It's the little splatter. So I got that right here. And I'm going to take this flower off right there. Okay, so I've got the little splatter. And we're going to do that in poppy. Great. So I got it inked up, and I'm just going to go around the flower. This is such a cute splatter, and it gives such a nice effect. Okay, so all I had to do was do it three times around that. So I'm going to clean that off. Over here. Make sure that's clean. Yep. Okay, so I'll cover that up. I don't need that right now. And then we're going to take our old olive. And that one we're going to do the stems with. And I sh I've got to do that bud. I forgot to do it, but we'll go back and do it. So now I'm going to do the stems. But I think I'm going to stamp off a little. Let's try it again. Okay, so then I'm just going to go on the leaf, stamp off, and up and down the stem. There we go, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to clean that off. I'm done with that. And I'm going to go back to that little bud, because I do want some color on the bud there, okay? 
and I um, do realize that when I get step away from the camera here and then I start talking you don't hear me as well so I apologize gotta remember that okay so I'm gonna stamp off because I just want a little color there on the bud there that's perfect I like it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna clean that off so I don't make a mistake and I better cover up my um, stamp pads right now because I'll probably get ink and stuff that I don't want ink on. Okay, so put that over there. Now I have that done. Now before we adhere it down to the pool party, I did use another product. And that is the Subtle Embossing Folder. It gives you a nice linen effect on the paper. So if you could see that, it's right there. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, so I'm going to, so I did my stamping first, and I'm going to line this up right on that line. Because then the, the um, linen effect will be straight. It won't be going crooked at all. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see how it came. Not bad. Okay, so let's see if my words go there. Yep, that's going to work good. I'm going to do it one more time because it did not emboss on the outside. I think, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to do it one more time. See how that worked. You never know. Okay, I like that. It's better. Okay, I don't know if you could see that. Okay, so I'm going to put my embossing folder over there. Now we're going to take this and we're going to layer it on top of the pool party. And again, I really like my uh, tear and tape. It works really well. loosen it. Now you can use the pick tool. You pick tool. It's in our catalog, the main catalog. But I just have my scissors here. And it kind of works the same way. Sometimes want to make sure that sticks. Yeah, you want to press your adhesive down into that embossed paper because now it doesn't have a smooth surface, so it takes a little bit more for the adhesive to stick to it. A little more pressure. So I'm going to line this up. Got everything done I needed to before I did this part. And I want to make sure the border is even on all sides. Just give it a little press so it does stay stuck. Okay, what's next? Now, on the back, I did use uh, the Stampin' Dimensionals. And I should have them there. I do. Okay. Organization, it's so important. 
it, it takes some work to get ready to make a video. You have to make sure you have all the equipment set up, all your pieces you need to make the card. But it's a lot of fun, and I'm so glad to share this with all of you. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on the card. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to pop it up with five dimensionals and I'm going to layer it just about there. So just give me a second because I want to make sure it is layered good. I mean that it's lined up good. And sometimes I'll put my sample card if I really like the way it turned out and I'll kind of eyeball it to see, yep, yeah, that's about the same I did. And I love working on this graph paper because I can line up the bottom of the card straight and then I know that this is going to go down straight too. So it did. Now I'll take off the rest of the little tabs to get the adhered down. Wonderful. We're almost done, okay? Now another little trick. I have what's called the fine tip glue pen. And we sell this also, Stampin' Up! And I do love it. I'm going to show you how that works. Now, I already cut out my uh, leaf. And I'll show you where I got that. That is from the Poppy Moments dies. And it's this one right here. And I think I did show you that in the beginning. So, I duck, uh, that was an old olive. And then I die cut that. So, I... I'm going to take the back of this now, and I'm going, and this uh, glue, fine glue pen, fine tip glue pen, it has a little, like, needle that sticks inside the barrel where the glue comes out, so it keeps it from getting clogged up, which is wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that off. Now, I'm just going to put, let's see where we want it. I'm going to have it lay about there. So I probably want the glue. Let me just uh, take a look at this. Eyeball it real fast. See how I want this one. How about... I don't know. You can have more of it showing or less. So the bottom three leaves I'm going to put the glue on, okay? So you just squeeze a little. And you get that glue. See how it is such a fine tip? It works so well. Okay, now when I put it back together, and this is important, you don't want it to dry out, you just line it up and it sticks right in there. And you twist that back on. Okay, now I'm going to take my greenery, that over there, and then I'm going to take this, and remember, I'm going to eyeball it a little bit because I want to see how much is sticking out. So I think I want it right about there. So just give it a little press. Perfect. And this one, I believe we just used, actually I put, um, and I did stamp the happy birthday in pool party. I could have done it in black, I could have done it in the poppy parade or the old olive, but I thought the pool party just made it a little more subtle and didn't take away from the main point of the card, the poppy. So let me put my dimensionals on there again. You know I love dimensionals. <laughs> Okay, peel that off, and I'm going to turn this around to face me, and I'm going to line it up so I can make sure it's going on straight. I like it right there. Oh, I love it. Okay, so how do you like it so far? I hope you all like it. You know, leave a comment in the bottom of the video here. Just say hi so I know, you know, there are people out there and you're taking a look. And also, if you hit the like button, uh, that really helps me out. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can hit subscribe so you do know when they're coming out and it kind of reminds you so you don't miss them. Okay, now I'm going to do one more thing. These are from the main catalog, these sequins, and they're called Iridescent Sequin. 
And remember, I love to put these on with glue dots. So run over and get my glue dots. And I usually use the glue dots that I have left over from Paper Pumpkin because they're a little bit smaller than um, the regular glue dots you buy from us. But those would work just as good too because you could roll them and make them smaller. So on this one, I put three of these sequins on. And I used kind of the ones that looked like the pool party. But they're kind of iridescent, just like the title says. So let me pick out three. So I got a little one. There's a big one here. And I want one more big one. And also the U pick tool is good for this too, because they have a point that's a little adhesive, and you can pick them out. So let me get my little dots put on where I want the sequin to go. Oh, that one's not going to peel off. Okay, I want it right up here, one of them. The other one is going to go right about here. And then one more, and that's going to be right at the bottom of the words. Okay, so let's put them on. Peel that one off. The big one's going to go here. And then another big one here. Whoops. Come here, you. Okay, we're going to put you right there. I could probably do it that way. Okay, I want this glue dot a little smaller, so with my nail, I'm just going to squeeze it in a little bit. Just make it a little rolled at the edges so it's smaller. How about on this edge, too? Yeah, it comes out good. So then I'm going to put it right on top. And because I have it popped up with the dimensional, I'm going to put my little bone folder underneath it and give it a good press so it's on there real good. Okay, and we're done. Wow, I love it. Well, thank you for stopping by and taking a look. And if you don't have a demonstrator already, you're more than welcome to order with me. And you can use my hostess code right here. It's good until Friday, January 17th. And then after that, I'll be putting out a new hostess code. So have a wonderful day and happy stamping. Bye-bye.